There are different ways to fracture objects inside of Cinema 4D and in this lesson let's take a look at Voronoi fracture. Uh, to look at that I'm uh, first of all going to take an object which I want to fracture and in my case I'm going to take this capsule right here. So irrespective of the way it is divided, Voronoi fracture actually fractures it in a randomized way. So in my case, I have this object right over here. So I'm just going to turn off a shading by pressing NA right over there. So I got a regular shading. So now I'm going to bring in a, um, a plane right here, which is going to act as um, the a rigid body right over here, a rigid body collider. So I'm sim uh, simply going to right click on the plane and I'm going to go into the simulation tag and I'm going to change this into a collider body. And in case of my capsule right here, I'm just going to uh, leave it as it is for now. So now what I want to do is I want to add in the Bernoulli fracture. So in uh, to do that, I'm gonna just uh, go I'm gonna go over here onto the fracture options. So let's go, just go over here, and here it is for Bernoulli fracture. So let me just bring that in. So now I want the capsule to be fractured. So I'm gonna drag in the capsule onto the Bernoulli fracture, and you can already see the fracture right over there. But if I were to press the play button, you see that nothing happens because I haven't converted this into a rigid body yet. So I'm just going to right click on the Boronoi fracture. I'm going to go on to the simulation tag and I'm going to click rigid body. Once I do that and press the play button, you can see that the fracture actually happens. So respective of the level of division you have on the object, everything fractures just like that, as you can see. So now uh, I want to control the fracture even further. So I'm going to click on the Boronoi fracture just over here. And in the object, you can see that you can offset the fractures right over here. So you can increase and decrease the distance right over here from the object menu. So you want a bit of a distance, you can do right that. So if I were to play that, you can see that that is how fracture actually works like this, like that. So I'm just going to leave that to zero centimeter right over here because I do not want any differences. But here is where I want to go in. I want to go into sources and in point generation. So once you go to point generation, you can see how the Voronoi fracture is working out. So you get this box like effect right over here and you, you can move it uh, over to the side over here. So if I were to go down, you'll be able to see that there's the point amount. You can decrease the point amount so you can decrease the number of fractures as you can see. So there's just two, three fractures right over here or you can increase the number of fractures by going on. So you can increase the number of fractures and you can see that it can be very, very detailed as you can see just like that. So depending on the number of fract or fractures required, you can actually adjust everything out just like that. So let me just go back to the beginning. You can change the seed so it changes the way how the fracture actually happens. So you can do that as well. And over here is the transformation. So you can move it along the side so you can see that you can have more fracture along at the sides just like that. So less fracture on the left side by moving this along. So just like that, you can move this to the top and there's more fractures to the top just like that. As you can see, less fractures on the bottom. So if I were to play it, you see that there's more fractures on the top, less on the bottom, just like that. You can increase the scale just like that, increase this as well, increase the scale over here to change how the fractures work like. You can also rotate around the fractures right over here from the sides just like this and the fractures work around just like that. So you can also increase the point amount and you can see that work. you can work around with the details and the result is astounding. So this is done with just a bit of a few clicks. You didn't need to do anything manually and that is how you can fracture any object inside of Cinema 4D using Voronoi fractures. So that's the capsule. Let me just bring in another material right over here. So let's say something like this cube bring it in Voronoi fracture and you, if you were to bring the cube up right over here and play it, you can see that that is how the fracture actually works like for the cube, just like that. So you can do this with any object, any model, and that'll just work out just fine. So let me go for a bit of a complex module this time, uh, com complex model over here. So let me just uh, press control Z and I'm going to bring in this figure, keep that in Voronoi fracture right over here. And there you go, the figure is fractured just like that as you can see so really really cool as you can see just like that everything works out quite fine just like that so that is how you can work out with Fernoy fracture inside of cinema 4d so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe